Hello, my name is Edward, and now I will go over target eight. So the question read, Juliana plays three rounds of pinball. The score per bumper hit is a constant whole number within a round and doubles between rounds. After the first two rounds, Juliana has scored a total of 28 bumper hits and needs only 15 more bumper hits in the third round to reach exactly 10,000 points. So the question asks, how many points did Juliana earn in the first two rounds? So it seems like we have a lot of info here. So one thing that helps often is to let um, variables denote certain things. So for example, the score per bumper hit is a constant number. So we can let X be that number. So we'll say X is the number of points per bumper hit in the first round. And we also know that this number doubles between rounds. So the second round, uh, it will be 2X. And then the third round, it will be 4X. What else do we need to know? Well, we also know that she scored a total of 28 bumper hits in the first two rounds. So we can say, let Y be the first round number of bumper hits. And so that means that she scored 28 minus Y in the second round. And the last piece of info that we need that we didn't really touch on yet is that she needs 15 more bumper hits in the third round to reach exactly 10,000 points. So then we have 15 in the third round. So now we know how many points each bumper hit earned in each round and how many bumper hits Juliana scored in each round. So in total, she got xy plus 2x times 28 minus y plus 4x times 15, and that's equal to 10,000. And we got this by simply multiplying the first number in each sequence and the second number and the third number. So now we just have a little algebra to do. So we can distribute, combine like terms, and then factor out the x. And the reason we factor out the x here is because we know that x is a whole number um, because it's given to us. And y is the number of bumper hits in the first round. So y is also a positive whole number. And so that means that x and 116 minus y are each a factor of 10,000. So remember what y means. y is the number of bumper hits in the first round. So that means that y is less than or equal to 28. And so that means 116 minus y is greater than or equal to 88. So 116 minus y is a factor of 10,000 between 88 and 116. So now we have to figure out which, what possible value that can be. Well, 10,000 is 2 to the 4 times 5 to the 4. So that means that 116 minus y has to be either a multiple of 10, a power of 2, or a power of 5. So let's consider each case separately. So if it's a power of 2, then it has to be 32, 64, 128, or so on. None of those are in the range, so we know it's not in this case. If it's a power of 5, then it could be 25, 125, or bigger. And that also has no values in the range. So that only leaves that 116 minus y is a multiple of 10. Well, this multiple of 10, when you divide it by 10, also has to be divisible by only 2s and 5s. So that could be 80, 100, 160. Well, 100 is the only one that's in the range 88 to 116. So that means that 116 minus y is 100. So that means y is 16. And then x is 10,000 divided by 100, which is also 100. So now we have to find out how many points she scored in the first two rounds, which remember is denoted by this. So then we can just plug in the numbers we have and compute the sum, which sums to 4,000 points in the first two rounds. And that is target eight. Hey, this is Tim. Hope you're enjoying our videos. If so, you know what to do, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. But what I'd really want to invite you to do is to send us an email at media at mathleague.org. Tell us which problems you'd like to see us cover next in our video series. Take care and see you in the next video.